overview of the Junior Basic Inquiry Project uh, because I know there's been some questions for those that are ready to move on. So as we look at the Junior Basic Inquiry Project, uh, looking at the question is your first step and really it is taking, giving you the chance to delve into a topic that you're interested in. So that can be anything from English language learners to building empathy to using media in the classroom to um, how to engage students in open math questions. Now you need to make sure that your uh, question does relate to the junior classroom because we want to connect it back to our learning as a whole. In that regards, a uh, discussion board will go up this weekend where you can post your question and if everybody can post their question by um, I said Sunday, I'm sorry, Monday, February 24th. That just gives us a chance. I'll make sure I'll comment on each of your questions, and we all have a chance to share any resources before we get into um, doing our inquiries. So just looking at what some of those sample questions may look like. How can I integrate outdoor education in the junior classroom? What are some strategies to differentiating learning for ELL learners? How can I teach digital citizenship? Um, in the fall, we had some people look specifically at how could they incorporate visual arts or drama in the literacy program or how they could foster music. So anything really goes, uh, but the discussion board will really help us focus our conversations. Now, step two is looking for answers to your question. So there's a variety of ministry resources that can be helpful. There's the Educain site, uh, the curriculum.org site with all the webcasts that we've been checking out, uh, the capacity building series which is some of the monographs we've been reading. They have a variety of different types there um, as well as what works. They're both monographs from the ministry but if you're looking at uh, integrating technology there's some great ones on interactive whiteboards and integrating film. For other resources, I've just linked three blogs there that I really enjoy. Edutopia's um, The Education Foundation, uh, put on by George Lucas. So they have a lot of different materials and a lot of current hot topics, so problem-based learning, uh, community gardens, etc. To go to the links, just click on the blue button and it will take you straight to the website. So once you've researched, uh, your last step is presenting your learning in a media format because you'll be sharing it with the group. So everybody's going to get a chance to um, explore and learn from your learning. Now, uh, when you're presenting, you have a choice of media format. These are just a few examples. You can really use anything. Some people chose to go with what they were familiar with, with PowerPoint last term. Uh, others went with Prezi. Some went with Poplet. So if we look... Uh, they were very different, so here we had one that was focused on music and bringing in all of their research and findings and different elements, and others looked more um, at graphic organizers like Poplet. Some created infograms, infographics that summarize their learning as well. So it's really up to you what format you would like to take. So I hope that helps you out a bit, and have a good night.